Biters. Welcome back to another episode of the Yummy Bites TV. Y'all, today we are having, no, today is Whataburger Wednesday, y'all, okay? It's going to be a thing, okay? <laughs> and I have their new Pico de Gallo Water Chicken. I don't know what this is going to taste like. I already had their uh, Pico de Gallo, what was it? Because they just brought it back out again. It's the Pico de Gallo Burger. So they have the chicken. Now it's dripping, y'all. With I don't know what that is. Let me let me check. What is that sauce? Okay, so it has a brioche bun. What is this? Oh, these are all the different kind of buns you can get. It has pepper jack cheese, pico de gallo, and. Creamy cilantro lime sauce. Mmm, that sounds good. Okay, so I have some um, onion rings here and I have a sweet tea. Uh huh. Yes, y'all. Oh, and an apple pie. Mercy, what you got? <laughs> <laughs> of course, I got me an apple pie too. I got me a double water burger with lettuce, mustard, jalapenos, and pickles. Fries and that good Sprite, no ice. Oh, and I have a um, breakfast on a bun. That's what I really wanted, y'all. But I was like, let me go ahead and try this for them. All right, you ready? Let's get it. Oh, may God accept our prayers and bless this food and receive our thanks. Amen. Amen. Uh-oh, uh-oh. My tomatoes are falling off. Okay, y'all let me know in the comments. Have y'all tried this? Because nobody told me about this. None of my yummy biters. Where y'all at? I need to take a couple more bites. This chicken patty is good. Mmm. I'm liking that sauce. It's just nice and hot. Can you give me that, please? Please. Pretty good. I think I remember liking the, the burger better. It's good. I wish the patty could be more crunchy. It'll overall be a better chicken sandwich if it was crunchy. But it didn't advertise crunchy, so. It's real meat. It's kind of crunchy on the edges, but. That's what it's looking like. I know you don't want to. <clears throat> I was just going to ask for a bite. Really? Girl, please. You know oh. <laughs> you know I'm, I'm like, playing. it has a white cream on it. <laughs> Yeah, I realized something. I'm a three patty boy. This is this is such Why? a lightweight. This is nothing. And my patty is broke. I ain't never had a broken patty in Waterboro. I hope they didn't drop on the floor. I know, huh? Cause they you said you said they was gonna be slow and they were slow as I don't know. I'm like, what is taking them so long yeah, to make I this grew food? Up on water burger. They just they live to be slow at night for no reason. <laughs> and you be looking around, like, yeah. and ain't nobody else here. What are you doing? Three other people. Back there holding long conversations. Getting mad that you pulled up because exactly. they had to stop their conversation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had to hang up that phone conversation. Mm-hmm. Put the TikTok on. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Back there exposing their job. 
y'all, there are so many people exposing their jobs on TikTok, right? And then they get they're surprised when they come back and be like, they saw my TikTok and they fired me. Like, what did you think was gonna happen? You was showing the kitchen at Taco Bell or wherever else, you know what I'm saying? Or at your why they uh fired a nurse. And she was devastated. Because she didn't even like what she was doing. She she I believe she was at her job, but she wasn't like showing anything really, you know? I, I guess out? she yeah. She made a TikTok. So I guess y'all, if y'all have a job, if you don't have permission to make TikTok videos, <laughs> do not because you will lose your job. And you in uniform at your job site. Yeah. yeah. And especially you know that you're going to get fired if you are exposing, you know, what kind of meat Taco Bell has and all of this other stuff, you know? Oh, somebody exposed McDonald's. Oh, my God. For what? Just, you know, our, the food and, you know, how it's packaged. Just... What, let's just and then Taco out. Bell, the beans and how they're packaged. And just, the food just doesn't look nice, okay? <laughs> it just doesn't. It only looks good when they put it together for you. Hmm. Who said it looks good? Hey, some of these sandwiches be looking nuked when you look at it. If you really look, take them apart and look at them. I'm kind of done with McDonald's though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, one conspiracy theory that I don't believe what? Is that McDonald's is selling like human meat? No, I don't believe that either. Yeah, but I, I you know what? I, it, you never know though. But that's that's something that that's a conspiracy theory that could be true. But I don't know if I'm ready to just take it that far and believe that. Somebody needs to test McDonald's food, like they tested Subway. Yeah, I would be very interested yeah. to know that. Testing fries. Hmm. Exactly. <laughs> the, the hamburger meat, mm -hmm. not the new meat. Yeah, that old meat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Test food that don't get old. Come on, oh my God. I would love to know what that is. Topics. Let's see, what do we have? Oh, do you know Sabrina was injured? And she had to retire from, um, what is it called? Wim Wimbledon? She had to retire. That's what, they, that's what I heard, y'all. I hope mm -hmm. this is true. Yeah. During one of her matches, um, she had just, she, she was about to um, hit the ball and she just, like, fell. I don't know what happened. Like, I guess it was an old injury or something. What? But, um, mm hmm. Um, Serena Williams retires. Yup, here it goes. Serena Williams retires today. <gasps> no, Serena. Oh my God. Seven time Wimbledon champion. Serena Williams was forced to retire from her first round match at the All England Club against. Um, Al <laughs> uh, y'all, uh, Alessandra Sosnovich on Tuesday due to an injury suffered in the first set. With Williams leading 3-1 in the first set, she was leading. Oh, my God. The 39-year-old American appeared to slip and hurt herself doing, during a return. Yeah, because she was about to hit the ball. Williams left the court to receive medical attention after returning with the match now tied at 3-3. Williams buckled at the baseline midpoint. Oh, she was hurt before. Okay, buckled at the baseline midpoint um, before gingerly walking off the court in tears, acknowledging the fans as she departed. She said, I was heartbroken to have to withdraw today. 
um, after injuring my right leg, said Williams in an Instagram post. My love and gra gratitude are with the fans and the team who make being a on uh, who make being on center court so meaningful. Oh, excuse me. Um, feeling the extraordinary warmth and support of the crowd today when I walked on and off the court meant the world to me. Added Williams, who was aiming to win a record tying 24th Grand Slam title. God, dog it. Mm, mm, mm. At least she retired and she was still hot. You know what I'm saying? Like, she wasn't losing. She just retired from that competition. That don't mean she retired for good. <clears throat> retired in my eyes means... But they said retired from the women and what you call it. Well, okay. <clears throat> um, and that little black Japanese girl, where she at? She beat him? She not in the thing, too? Remember she um because she had beat her before. She she didn't she leave because of mental um. Remember she left because she didn't want to. She didn't want to do press, and they said, in order yeah, for you to participate, the mixed Asian girl. girl? Mm -hmm, in order for you to participate, you have to do press, and she said no. She will withdraw what? for her mental health. Wow. For her mental health, I, yeah. Wow. She must got plenty of money, and she must. Care more about her health, her mental health. Yeah, because they sit there. Then money. Know, like that made Serena cry. That yeah. All that probing, and you know, you just got off. You emotional, and they want to sit down. I feel. They said, um, the forfeit marks her first ever first round loss at Wimbledon. Wow. I know she hurt. Yeah. But it was because of a forfeit, though. I mean, you know, that's she's a legend. She went hard in the paint until her body gave out on her. Exactly, you know what I'm and that's why I'm saying, like, she went out a G. Still, exactly, you know? exactly. She died with them Amazing. boots Amazing. Mm -hmm. What happened to her sister? Does she still? I know you probably wouldn't know. Yeah, I, I wonder if she still plays. Because both of them were good. <clears throat> but she yeah. started outshining Venus. So. Oh, because they would both be going to uh, women. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because she had the harder hit or something, the harder serve. Mm. Oh. Mm. So, yeah, y'all. That's that. Um, I wonder what she's going to do now. She probably just going to chill, huh? Yep. Enjoy some of that money. Really? I know she's she making that. How many times oh, over? Oh, she might um have some more kids with her husband. She married? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. She sure is married. Okay, now you probably don't know nothing about this. Lala Anthony and Carmelo Anthony. Uh, Lala is uh, filing for divorce. Oh, really? Uh huh. Because he went. Okay, so y'all already know Carmelo Anthony had cheated on Lala and had a baby. Okay. He cheated on Lala and had a baby. <laughs> That's tough. Then he did it again had and had baby? twins. With the same girl or somebody no, else? No, somebody else. Wow. Twin. Oh, that would have been a. Oh, he would have did it with the same with the same girl. Ooh. Twins, dog. Seriously. Twins. Bro? He went and had twins. Thank God they have at least one child together. You know what I'm saying? So she wouldn't be like, you know, what if she had wanted kids and he up here but he cheating had, and having he kids with everybody twins else? With somebody else. That's twins. Something, something super twins. Special. Oh, that's when she was like, oh no. And he was trying to hide it. This lady, <laughs> he was trying to hide it. I, oh, I hope I saved this video, y'all. <coughs> I hope I saved it. Oh, and I don't think I did. God dog it. Okay, so <clears throat> she was like giving the rundown of what happened. Anyway. Apparently, Kim Kardashian um, hired a private investigator to investigate Carmelo and, you know, what he was doing, right? Kim Kardashian? Kim Kardashian. You know, they're best friends. Her, Her and Lala. Lala. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know they were still best friends. And she Whoa. hired a, a, a private investigator. And um, they uh, basically found out he had, I believe, y'all, don't quote me on this. 
I believe he had moved the girl and the twins somewhere overseas, okay, to keep it from Lala. <laughs> but wow. little did he know, private... Camden hired oh, a private investigator to find out now, exactly what was that's going wrong on. Right now. Yeah, and so I guess when she found out everything, she she filed for a divorce. So yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Finally, I, I thought he was gonna, you know what I'm saying, be good to her after that first time. I thought. But he went and had some more kids. Like, what, are you hitting me, Carmelo? Thank God. Lala always had her own thing. She never depended on his money. At least, I don't think so. Yeah, she was already a personality. She was. She, wasn't before. she on MTV or something? Yeah, she, she was, was very popular mm -hmm. before she met him. So, yeah, finally she filed. Hopefully she goes through with that. Because their son is getting old. Like, I wonder how old their son is. Probably a teenager, I'm sure. Yeah. Mm. Well, may they be blessed if they don't need it. Okay, so this is just a question for everybody. Um, and you too. What's your top five side dishes of all time? Side dishes. Y'all answer in the comments too. Beans and top rice. Five. That's number one? Yeah, that's probably number one. Mashed potatoes. Go from the bottom. To the top. Can you, is that easy? Okay. Well, well, mashed potatoes. That's number five. Yeah. Uh, side dishes. We're going to go. I know what I want to say, but I'm going to put something in front of that. Because that deserves <laughs> better than number four. Um, <laughs> side dishes. I don't know. Let me let, Listen, let me just spit it out. All these numbers. Okay. <laughs> mashed potatoes. Beans and rice. Smothered potatoes. And uh, I'm not out of tricks right there. <laughs> really? Uh, some fried corn and some uh, some, and some garlic with some uh, butter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What else? Isn't that five? So I have <laughs> two potatoes, the corn. What else I said? Did you say green beans? Did you say green beans? Beans and rice. Oh. And uh, cause you don't eat green beans. What am I talking about? Oh, some of my mama's dressing. Lord have mercy. Jesus, hold on. Oh, yeah. Let me switch my whole menu up. No, don't start thinking about my Thanksgiving. My mama's you. cornbread dressing. <laughs> my mama's <laughs> rice dressing. <laughs> and my auntie's seafood mm, dressing. We haven't had that in years. The Holy Trinity right there. You know, we need to do that. Yeah, my mama was just talking about... Uh, we need to do a seafood dressing. She was talking for Thanksgiving. about... Thanksgiving. She was talking about... Get, Making some stuffed shrimp with that seafood dressing. That would be so good. And going to see if she can get her to do it with her. So she can, you know, make sure she get the recipe right. That would yeah, be so yeah, good. For real. Mm. But you would need some big shrimp to do that, huh? Yeah. Mm, but is the mixture, like, thick like that? Yeah. Because I don't think it's thick. Yeah, I don't know if you ever had it. Yeah. And they what do you mean? The stuffed shrimp, George like when they, when they stuff oh, the shrimp. Oh, no. Yeah. Mm -mm. Oh, so they have done it before? Yeah. Oh, okay. And they had chunks of shrimp in the dressing, and then they, you know, squish the dressing around the shrimp, mm -hmm. and then coat that in like breadcrumbs or whatever, and fry it. Oh, okay. Okay. Because I was thinking that. of- Imagine I thought, the crust on this. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I was thinking that they baked it. Oh, no. Nah, not Because you can bake it, too. Yeah. Mm -mm. No, nah, that's right. Um... So you got your five? I, uh, yeah, them three dressings, and then what else? Uh, some other potatoes and beans and rice. Okay. So mine. Um, macaroni and cheese. This is in no particular order. I love me some macaroni and cheese. Oh my gosh. Um, what else? Uh, sour cream and onion mashed potatoes. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's so from? good. Or, or um, 
or like onion and chive mashed potatoes. Oh my God. Um, what else? Uh, I like makchu. That sauteed, the fried corn. Um, what else? That seafood dressing. Yes, Lord. My mama's greens. Uh-huh. Um, how many do I have? Mm-hmm. Uh, I like barbecue baked beans. Mm. So good. Like, I cannot have barbecue without barbecue baked beans. Like, it just goes together. You know what I'm saying? It's like uh, like you almost dip your meat in the barbecue, you know, beans. Oh, yeah, they go hand in hand. It's yum. Mm. I like a good potato salad, too. Oh, dang. Me, too. A good one. Yeah. <laughs> like our mama's make. Yeah. <laughs> I make a good one too. Yeah, we make them like our mamas. Yeah. At least we try to, yeah. <laughs> but some people make weirdo potato salad. I ain't talking about that. <laughs> With raisins in it. <laughs> and just, just watery, just strong. Oh, watery? Just, you know, you, you've you never seen it? No, not watery. Gross. Ugh. Type of stuff when you be in the potluck and stuff, you know what I'm saying? I don't like those... Um, those potato salad, the red potatoes, and they just cut them up and leave the skin on with this mayonnaise. Uh, like, you know what exactly. I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Ugh. Mm -hmm. It looks disgusting, and I've never tasted it, but I know it ain't good. It couldn't be Served good. cold or something. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Gross. Okay. You need to cut them potatoes up. You know, like, them big old potatoes. <laughs> And now I see what he's talking about when he told me that my potatoes were cut up too big. Like, I needed to... Remember? Yeah, your potatoes should never be super huge in a potato salad. And certainly, don't use raisins. Okay? Disgusting. But you know what's good in potato salad? Chopped up um, celery. I know you probably don't like that, huh? I don't mind. But your that. mama put that in, in I don't hers. Mind that. And, yeah, I've gotten the crunch. Accustomed to that. Mm -hmm. It's so good to me. I used to hate it. I hated the flavor. I hated the crunch. But for some reason now that I'm older, I like it. <clears throat> y'all gotta make sure y'all whip y'all potatoes so that the potatoes can start to break up and decay into the mayonnaise and all that, whatever you got in there. And don't just have all that mayo and stuff, all make that sure just around warm. some potatoes. You want to break them potatoes up and get it all good. Yeah, make sure your potatoes are warm, y'all. That's y'all be going wrong. <laughs> I literally made potato salad, and I let my potatoes sit in the pot one time, remember? Mm -hmm. And for some reason, I like, it just it. did I came, not I was like, she wanted right. me to taste something like, what, you let the potatoes get cold before you try to mix it up? It, and it did not come out right at all. It won't it's like mix the, right. Yeah, yeah the mayonnaise right. doesn't adhere to the potatoes right or something. I don't even know. What it was, but it just wasn't. The good. potatoes don't break up good. When they hot, they ready to just break exactly. up. Exactly. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me. Oh my goodness. So, y'all, I was gonna do like a, a um get to know us little questionnaire. Um, because we have a lot of subscribers that um, you know, don't really know us. And we never really you know, do that over. Like, once we do it, you know, and answer y'all's questions or whatever, well, then we're done. But we're going to... I have some questions right here. <laughs> Something okay. I looked up. So, I know you, you don't have a hero. Do you have a hero? You just don't seem like a person that... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for knowing me. Yeah, I don't have a hero. Yeah, I don't even You can't know. see me having a hero, yeah, huh? No, yeah. no, no. <laughs> A hero, Not huh? At all. <laughs> I don't have oh, a hero. Oh, wait a minute. Either, no, 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 no. Wait a minute. No, Like, what? Jaden's your hero? Yeah, but I wasn't finna say Jaden. Um, mm. Like, like Farrakhan is like sort of like my like hero to me. You know what I'm saying? Farrakhan? Farrakhan, yes. Mm. I love mm -hmm. to hear him speak. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I, I love the. The eloquence, you know, the yeah, man. At the same time, the powerful words, and he not scared to talk to the man and exactly. say what needs to be said. He you know says what I'm saying? whatever he wants. Yes, 
so much power in it, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> Love it. Um, if you could live anywhere, where would it, where would it be? We've answered this before. We're going to answer it again. If I could live anywhere, where would it be? I think my answer is about to change, okay, with all this stuff going on in this world. <laughs> yeah, really. You gotta think wisely. Yeah. <laughs> I would go to Africa. Really? Where the lions and <laughs> Listen, ain't it? And tigers are Africa aren't. is all connected. Do you know that? It's all connected. <laughs> Do you know that lion don't give a damn about a fence? Do you know that? So yeah. No, but isn't there certain places where lions and I don't care if they ain't there yet. I ain't quite, don't I, go. I don't care if they ain't there yet. That means they just ain't came yet, but they got legs and them jokes construct. That's why I never understood y'all. Like, if you live in Africa, who's to say like one of the lions won't come from, you know, far, far, far. Thank you. And just walk over there to where you at. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? In the city and stuff. You know? <laughs> What's keeping it from coming to the city? Yeah, I'm not even playing no game. Y'all got <laughs> wild animals running around. Y'all, when y'all get that tamed and under control, <laughs> then I think about coming to Africa. And tell them, buddy. Elephants and giraffes and <laughs> all stuff. All kind of like... stuff. Spitting cobras. Just, mm -hmm. <laughs> all kind of just foolishness. No, y'all lives is in danger. I can't do it. No. They still got it better than us. <clears throat> they still got it better than us. They get to, get to eat good. Ain't nobody over there trying to ill okay them. If if I could live anywhere, it would be it would be somewhere beautiful and like tropical. You know what I'm saying? It would be a place that's like always warm. It would be I would be I would live in a vacation spot. Well, the reason why I said I didn't say like like a beach looking area because I don't want to get flooded out one day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, or a yeah. tsunami come and swallow me up. <laughs> yeah, you uh -uh. want to live on an island unless you tell you know what's going to happen to the world soon. You don't want to be on no island. Exactly. Yeah, so. Well, I still want to move to Africa though. You still ain't saying nothing. Hey, you know, if I could live anywhere in the world, bro, I would be living in the Great Pyramid. Straight up. Living in it? In it. Yes, ma'am. Residential. <laughs> Hell yeah. What is your biggest fear? Oh, yeah. We just recently not. We just did these. Um, no, questions. we didn't. Yes, we did. It no, it wasn't recent. <laughs> are you kidding me? This, it's been a while. But these are not even the same questions. Some of them are. Mm. But this next one I'm about to um, ask, we haven't answered that. My biggest fear. What's your biggest fear? I don't want to not be here for my son. Boom. I know. Me too. Well, thank God he has a God mama now. Mm-hmm. You know, even though, you know, other family members could, you know, take him or whatever. I don't think any of his sisters could. What do you think? Could what? Take him. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. Ain't never thought about that, huh? <laughs> yeah, I don't give thought. I don't give thought to stuff like that. I give thought to stuff like always being here. That way, that's yeah. what have to happen. You know what I'm saying? Right. I control what happened here. Mm -hmm. I'm the you know we the masters of this of this fabric of time and space and with reality. We don't have to be a victim to it. We can create the uh, outcome we want. Mm -hmm. I'm a master magician. <laughs> what is your favorite family vacation? My favorite family vacation. We've had a few. I mean, um, if you call going years. to the lake a vacation, that was the family. That was my favorite. That's not all we did. We went I, that's to um, Slitterbomb. I, yeah, that to, my favorite for us oh, okay. was just going to the lake. Well, my favorite for us is when we went over to your Uncle Mike's house and we had that whole thing, you know? Mm -hmm. We did the, the boat and then we did yeah, the, that was, the yeah, jet that was skis. That was so 
much fun. <laughs> Me and Marshall had never gotten on a jet. We had never been on a jet ski, right? Yeah, Before I think then. So. Mm -hmm. And it was just, oh my God. I'll never forget that day. Never forget it. That was fun. Um you would say going to the lake and Brian? <laughs> yeah. That was fun. It was hot though, y'all. Oh my God. See, we could be getting in that water. Yeah. We would get in the water. You would be sitting there acting like you was too hot society to get in the water. Uh, now tell but, them, tell them why I didn't get in the water though. But then you want to come by the water and tell watch them us, why. so because you, you ain't want to be left out. So then you just baking right? in the sun. That's right. You know what I'm saying? But why didn't I get in that disgusting sludge of water? Yeah. Really? You think, trying to, girl? That water was refreshing. He's not telling the it truth. Was, what it, was, what it, was, it was a lake. Yeah, it was a lake. People don't know what a lake is. Some people don't know. Yeah. Some people don't it's know. It's mud in the bottom of a lake. Of course. And it's all kind of other stuff in the bottom of the lake, too. <clears throat> like What? Vegetation? Humans do things to that water. Like Girl, use the bathroom in it. Humans, it's disgusting. Yeah, and humans use the bathroom in the public pool that everybody's swimming in. And that's this big. Yeah. We swimming in a whole lake. But tell me, what was all that nasty stuff though? Remember that orange? You was like a high uh, what was that orange? Everybody be outside sludge. swimming in the lake. It was a nice lake, y'all. Yeah, this water was slimy. Every people used to swim it in the lake. It was slimy cool. around the the shore part <clears> where <throat> we would be. It was slimy. Now we used to be down by the beach. We had a little beach That's area that we would be in. That's the shore. It wasn't slimy. What are you talking about? The, yes, that water was. It was slimy. It was. <laughs> And Maya had got something from it too. You remember that? That's just hot. Some type of um something. We literally had to call the doctor while we was at the lake and she was like, tell her to get out of that water. <laughs> <laughs> she was, <laughs> we were so scared. Oh yeah, my make god! A good deal out of it. Because what was wrong with Amaya? I can't remember. It was she... like a little rash or something, something. Yeah, she had something on her, y'all. It was I don't know what it was. I can't remember what it looked like, but it was some type of irritation. And yeah, she was like, "Get out of there!" And she was telling us that it's not even good to swim in the lake. Yeah, she said that. Yeah, of course. Because yeah, there's right. all kind of disease and all kind of stuff up in there. Yeah, people always swim in the lakes. Like, come on, ain't nobody finna not swim in the lake because the doctors would. Come on. Well. Where are my lake swimmers at? Come on now. That lake, y'all. Oh we'll God. jump in on in it. That was our first lake that we got in anyway. Wasn't it? Because um, we didn't just, we, you know, we didn't have a lake to swim in before we got there. So, yeah, that was our first time. Okay. What would you change about yourself if you could? I would change um, this anxiety. I want it gone. Gone bye-bye. Anxiety. It, it's something else. <laughs> what would what you change? I change about myself? I would yeah. be wealthy. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Yeah. That's, that's something I would change. Of course, there ain't yes. nothing wrong with him. Yes. <laughs> Make me wealthy, baby. Okay. What really makes you angry? Oh, God. <laughs> what really makes you angry? Huh? <clears throat> Oppression. Everything with everything that the man is doing and has did, that's really make it makes me angry. Yeah, everything yes. that I have been finding out that was done to us way back in the day and just all the systemic racism and stuff. Um, yeah, that makes me very angry yep. when I sit and think about it and just, or, you know, watch a video on it or, you know, just listen to anybody talking about it. It is just, it's sometimes it's unbelievable what was done to us. It's unbelievable. And still being done. You know? Yeah. So what motivates you to work hard? Moni. Honey May. Yeah, the the, uh, the thought of money running out, the fear okay. of money running out. So I know. Keep the huh? money up. Yeah. Pretty much. What motivates me the most is seeing my YouTube money drop. 
<laughs> that, that is directly tied. That's motivation right there. That, uh, for real, though. Let me tell you. I mean, for real. Yeah. Well, I didn't see myself jump up out of start streaming every day and get. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, when you got to do he what was, you got to do. He'd be yeah. on it two times a day. So, well, you hey. do a video and a stream. <clears throat> um, What is your favorite thing about your career that I get to stay at home? Yeah, stay at home and do what I want to do, how I want to do it, when I want to do it. Not have to depend on anybody else to do anything for your kids, you know, none of that. It's amazing. Um, uh, what's your biggest complaint about your job? <clears throat> the 30% of the super chat that they keep. The anxiety that comes with this, um, even though it's one of the most amazing jobs ever, it comes with, you know, anxiety about different things, you know, as far as, you know, being a YouTuber, like this just is some things that, you know, give you anxiety, uh, gives me anxiety. I just speak for myself. What about you? Yeah. Uh, well, anxiety. You didn't even hear the question, did you? What's what your it? biggest complaint? Oh, I said, you know, the 30% of uh, the 2% oh, oh. that YouTube keep. Okay. <laughs> what is your proudest, proudest accomplishment? I say my community I done built. You know what I'm saying? The mur just the whole murder gang community. Well, I, I feel like my proudest my proudest accomplishment is raising kids and now they're they're, you know, taking care of themselves. I just I don't know. I think about that all the time, like, wow. You know? I had them, and now they're taking care of them. It's like they got their own jobs, they got their own place, you know. I think that's amazing. Um, what is your child's proudest accomplishment? Just pick one. <laughs> A child's proudest, like <clears throat> proud, one of your kids. Yeah, proudest um, accomplishment. <clears throat> Ooh, I, I know Jaden's recent, one of his most recent proudest accomplishments is beating that game. Finally beating Skelly Pete in the end, boy. <laughs> that man eater. Skelly Pete, boy. I, could, I thought he had been, I uh, beat even, that game. I couldn't even beat Skelly Pete. <clears throat> well, he used to get to the end of it. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, since he couldn't beat him, he would just start over. Mm. But, you know, I get he from watching, uh, you know, other people play it. Oh, he, man, he, he something else on that game, huh? <laughs> but he was just so, I was so excited too. Like, mm -hmm. was you in there the mm -mm. first time he beat it? Oh, man. Oh, no, yes, I was. Yes, I was. Yeah, yes, I was. was. That was half a moment. Um, have you ever read, uh, read a book? Yeah. Well, what's your uh, favorite book to read? My favorite was Billy. I read that a long time ago. It was so good. Oh, my God. I know I don't know who it was by. I just remember the title, Billy. Um, well, a very eye-opening book, one of the first books, you know, when I started diving deep. <clears throat> it was called uh, Behold a Pale Horse by William C. Cooper. And, you know, he was like, you know, spilling truth about stuff you would call conspiracy theory. Mm -hmm. You know, he was letting it be known back then. Uh, that was a good book. You read that when? This was like 1999. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Mine was way back then, too. It was when I was in college at TSU. I had read this book um, while I was doing an um, internship. At, um, where did I do the internship, babe? It was at, uh, I can't remember. Anyway, 
And I, I got the, an internship. What? I recently got the Emerald Tablets. Uh <clears throat> ancient writing that was done, you know, by the somebody Thoth, Thoth the Atlantean, somebody from Atlantis or whatever. Just written on emerald tablets. <laughs> Some pretty yeah. ancient yeah, yeah. I have them. Okay, so um what makes you laugh the most? <sighs> when I'm around family, that's when I laugh the most. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yep, yep. Like, it's a real treat to be around family now. <laughs> yeah, when you can laugh and cut up with them. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I think when, when I'm around my sister, that's when I'm about to have oh, yeah. to laugh the most. Yeah. Most definitely. Um. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, so let me see. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Um, what did you want to be when you were small? What did you want to be? A dirt bike rider. <laughs> yeah, y'all know. D tell them, for the people who don't know. Tell them what? That you used to ride bikes. You know, I wanted to be a dirt bike rider, like a, a motorcycle rider. That's when I say dirt oh, bike, I mean motorcycle. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Just you know, like a Maya. Be jumping. <laughs> you know the ones where they be jumping when they mm -hmm. race? Yeah, that's when I was little. Did you have a bike? You had a dirt bike? Nah, I never even had one. Oh. Remember when Amaya used to want one? Yeah. So bad. Oh, my gosh. Didn't I buy her one? I did. I think so. Did you? Yeah, I bought her one. No, she wanted one. No, remember? It was blue. I remember. Was I remember that bike. Was it a real bike or that was one it of was, them little street bikes? It was a little one, but it was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she, she was she little. That's that, why I was yeah, little. Yeah, I remember. But it was a dirt bike. Um. Uh, oh, I wanted to be a nurse. I can when remember. I was little. Yeah, I can remember. I used to want to be a garbage man because I wanted to ride on the back of the truck. Just like Jay. Wow. <laughs> I thought it was so cool how they would. What? Be on the I back didn't even know truck. that. Yeah, you never I, told me that. Yeah, I never even connected that. <laughs> I thought, I thought oh it was my so gosh! Cool. Mm. You know, I wasn't infatuated with the, like the truck dumping the trash. It was just, like being that guy. I just like riding on the back of the truck, right? Like yeah. just having to hop off and get the trash. That's cool, whatever. That's secondary. Exactly. As long as I can hop back on and ride on that truck. I literally <laughs> wanted to do the same thing though. Yeah. I didn't want to be a, a, a trash person. I wanted to hop on the back of there and yeah, ride. I wanted exactly. to do it so bad. <laughs> um. Okay, last question. Would you rather ride a bike, ride a horse, or drive a car? I'd rather drive a car. <laughs> I'd rather drive a car. Just, It'll protect me from the elements. Like, if I'm on a horse, I get rained on, snowed on, even if I'm on a bike. So, I need to be in a car. <laughs> yeah, I can it depending on where we're going. I might want to jump on my bike. Yeah. I would never want to hop on a bike and go nowhere. <laughs> never. Mm -mm. I'm not a bike rider like that. I like jumping on my bike going to the corner store. Get a case of beer or something. Anyway. I so, love being on a bike. Really? One of these days I'm going to get me a plot of cement in the backyard with a top on it. Mm -hmm. Be my little riding pit. I was just about to ask you, like, would you want to, like, get, like, your dream bike or whatever? But didn't you I already get it? Yeah, I had it. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> I remember when, when you had got that uh, bike and it was stolen. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah, that was trash anyway. Was it? I mean, it wasn't trash, but it wasn't, you know, it was a horror, but it was the cheap horror. Hmm. It couldn't really handle the weight. I got the good heart roll now. Y'all, they had, they stole his bike and our brand new, uh, what do you call it, lawnmower. <clears throat> we was sick. You remember that? Like, we was sick, y'all, because was, was literally boring. Bobby was trying to tell us that it was somebody in I, the dad. I, I think I was, was right. Ignoring him. I was right by the door. I was playing Who, the game right with the headset on. 
And Bobby, I, what was I doing? I was in the back doing something. I might have been doing my hair. I was doing something to where I could not um, go to the door. I thought he was going to handle it because he was over there. But I didn't have a clue that he had on the, um, you know, the um, headphones. And he didn't even hear Bobby. No, I heard him. But I Did was playing Call of Duty. Yeah, I was like in the middle of a game. I'm like, what are you tripping Why for? Why stuff getting stole? And he playing a game. Oh, my freaking gosh. Y'all, we were so sick. after. Oh, my God. In the morning <laughs> after the kids so go to school. Sick. Like, who in it? We was so, Y'all. You got to watch out. When people come do work at your house, you know what I'm saying? You got to, like, people, some people come back and they want whatever they didn't see. Or they'll send somebody to your stuff <clears throat> in the country. They do that a lot in the country. I don't know how much they do it, like, in the city. But mm -hmm. in the country, honey, anything goes almost, it seems like. <clears throat> That's crazy. That could have ended real bad, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I would have... What's going on, boy? I open the door. Bobby shoot off barking. I go out there, what the hell? You know, like, come on. Like, seriously, dog? Like, that would have got real f funky. Just like, just like, yeah. just, just come on. You Wow, just thinking about it. I don't even, People don't love take to back. take stuff. When we lived out there, they just... Oh, my God. How many times they steal Amaya's bike? That was so annoying. Like... <laughs> We had to roll up on folks and take why, buy a bike away why from them. Why the, in the ghetto or whatever? I always got to steal bikes. I do not know. It was, it was the bike. It was the bike thing for them. Like, it was the bikes. I mean, I didn't have my bike stolen in, in, in Third Ward. You know what I'm saying? Like, twice I had, you know, go and get my bike. Because that's why, how why people got around bikes, out bro? there, like, huh? What make you think you just going to take somebody's bike and, they, and it's... And then, then come they back. And be cool with it. They and then just, come back and ride it in your neighborhood. Like, you're not going to know that's your bike. Like, you're not going to run up on them and, and snatch them off of your bike. <laughs> like, we could not keep that freaking bike. You must have had some pegs on it or something, huh? Yeah, it was a little freestyle yeah, bike. Yeah, but we, y'all, believe it or not, the bike made it here, didn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we would get it back every time, y'all. <laughs> we would get it back every time. <sighs> yeah, we came to the country with the fire that city in us. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. <laughs> no, but honestly, we didn't really know how to handle them country people though, because that was a whole different. That was a. It was a whole different thing, y'all, in the country. I remember we first moved there. I'm outside doing something, and this young boy comes riding down the um the street on his bike, staring at me literally like this, just mm -hmm. riding. And, I, and so I stood there and I stared back at him, you know, and, um, and so, and then he turned around and came back and was still staring at me. I think people must have sent him to come and see, that's what people would do. They would send folks to come and see who you are or just to look at you, see what you're doing and see if you really live there or whatever. Yeah. People are so just nosy. that nosy. Just, yeah. Who is you? Who are you? Yeah. Yeah. And let's just tell them about our neighbors, our neighbor, the one who used to be a slave. <clears throat> For real. And it ain't even no joke, y'all. Yeah. You ever, you, you ever see how people act in a slave movie and they be pretending to be slaves and yes, sir, no, sir, and they be with that. This joke exactly. used to act like this in real life. Exactly how he acted. And how did I used you know to tell him, I'm like, man, he act like a slave, bro. And I was like, you know, he talk what are you like talking a slave. He, 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 you know what I'm saying? Everything. And then he come to find out, he told us one day that, what did he say? His mama and his grandmother were slaves. Like he grew up on a plantation. Yeah. Way after slavery, they were still in slavery on their plantation. They, could, they just kept them in slavery and they didn't know no better. Like a lot Somewhere of other people. Texas. Somewhere in Texas. Yeah, like a lot of other people. For a lot of the people, slavery um, was still going on, y'all, until 1960. 1960. Yeah. So, yeah. It's, it was it was some some people that did not even know about um, <clears throat> the abolishment of, you know, slavery. They didn't even know. And their master didn't tell them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. And so he and his family 
was, um, you know, slaves. <clears throat> like Excuse straight me. out of a movie. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. So oh. I think I would hear him singing Negro Spirits over Stop there. Stop lying. <laughs> he no, is wait so a ridiculous. No, no, he wasn't. Wait. It was early in the morning. Like, I would hear him, he would be over there doing something. I'd be like, man, what is that noise? <laughs> and it would be him, I said. Remember that Spanish music that used to be so loud? Oh, my God. Yo, how did it go? <laughs> how did it go? <laughs> It'd be the same God, beat. That was not it. It'd be the same beat. It'd be chicka ching, chicka ching, or whatever. No, it reminds me of Zydeco music. That was nothing. And they like always have the same beat. Oh, it, from song to song, yeah, it'd be the, the same, same beat. Yeah, yeah. That, oh my God, it would drive me crazy. Why they got a part? And it would be Friday, in the e Friday evening, Friday night, and you think by the next day it's over. No. Money, music still playing they early in the morning, hey. all day long. It's going to be playing until Sunday. Yeah. Those same people, party. Those people never move next door, huh? So loud. It's for the whole night, like hey, yeah. I couldn't comfortably do that. I would feel yeah. like I like to treat people how I would want to be treated. So I wouldn't want somebody blaring their music that loud. I would feel uncomfortable blaring mine that loud. But they probably didn't care because don't care, like, you know it's the country. So they be doing it all yeah. throughout Houston. Yeah, drop a comment and, and tell your story about how your neighbors be with that loud music, <laughs> trump all weekend with that. Turn it down, bro. Really. <laughs> Like, it probably wouldn't even matter if we were younger. But when you're older, like, you don't want to hear that constantly. Like, oh, my gosh. Anyway. um, Yeah. But those are the, the people who um put that. um, What was that? That house next door. Oh. What yeah. They that, like yeah. a trailer or something? Yeah. Stupid trailer. They never they moved right in before we moved out, right? No, they did. Okay. Because I couldn't remember. Um, Anyway, y'all, this video is way too long. Oh, my God. Look, look at this. Look. look at this. Look, look at this. Look at this. Do you see? What, what why I'm you not about? eating your food? I do not know. <laughs> it's like I get I get full at a certain point. Pie. No, and I barely ate these. <sighs> it's weird. I don't know what is going on. I really don't. I haven't. I'm still taking the same, you know, pills and. I don't know. Maybe your body's saying, I'm full. I don't need no more. Like, yeah. I couldn't eat the rest of this. Like, I could have, but I just yeah. I couldn't bring myself to. Yeah, I'm just, I'm super full. Like, girl, <laughs> I'm full. Anyway, so. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Mm. If you did, please do what? Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. For what? <laughs> That is so funny. For everyday videos, everyday videos. Hey, uh, 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 uh. Hey, 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 uh, uh. And we will see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. You here? Bye, y'all.